Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today, turn around, like always, wow, that's far away. We're out at Dream World on the Gold Coast because they've got a food festival on. So, I've checked out like food and wine, flower and garden, and all those sort of food festivals before. So, I thought, why not? Let's come out and see how Dream World does it. So, cue the entrance music and let's get inside. Just going to the gates. So, first thing we're noticing is like, a food festival sign and also we've got some of the carnival games up there. I think it's also worth pointing out while I'm walking around that um, school holidays have just started so this is like the first week of them here so the parks are already a little bit busier and a lot more children around and I'm seeing this little sign here about food festival um, buying and redeeming for your bands so let's actually head into the Emporium and see what is that and maybe grab one. I'm not sure if it's a part of the food festival but we have also got the naked juice it's like a little juice truck here now kind of like next to the ball thing okay so I just want to go to the band it's kind of confusing so I think let's just take a second to sit down while I actually break this down so they have two different options for the bands they have the three food and one beverage option and that is 25 if you purchase it online or 28 if you purchase it in the park. Then they have the second option of the two, which is five food items and two beverages, and that's what I've got, just because I think it's gonna give us a better chance to try everything they're offering for this food festival. And this one is 35 if you purchase it online, or 39 if you purchase it in the park. So it breaks down, and then they didn't really have any like booklets, brochures, anything like that, the shows, everything is included. It was kind of just like told to, for me to take a photo of the little sign they'd stuck to the counter. So, sweet options we've got. So tell me where they are. Okay, here, so a few ice creams. I think realistically, we're probably just going to walk around the park and when we come to a food place I'll check out this photo and see if it's included and what food item is included there. Let's head down to where I believe the main part of it's going to be and we'll see how it's going, okay? Also, I'm passing like this shipping container that they painted up just so I let you know the festival goes from the 2nd to the 18th of April. So, like I was saying, let's head down this way and see what booth we come into. Okay, we've got one here. so. We'll see what this one has, okay? This is Dreamy Dumplings and it's currently not open. So it's right near the front of the park, so we actually have to come back to that one. Okay, now we come across the homemade iced tea one. Let's go look at the menu. Kind of a quick little look at the menu of what they have here. I'm not a big tea fan, so I'm gonna keep moving off this one, but kind of interesting. Okay, so now we've come across another booth. It's closed. Okay, here's the menu. Honestly, they, they look really good. I think a lot of the booths are closed. We may have to come back at the end to try them out, but let's keep going around and see what we have. That looks really nice. We may actually have to try that. Okay, so this is the next booth. Again, it is still closed. I will point out it's like 10.48, so I honestly thought that would be open by now. Kind of quick little look at their menu. <laughs> okay, here's now what I'm interested in. So this is the Smokehouse one. Can I show you? Got okay. So that's the counter down there. Okay, so let's get the printed menu and show you guys what the kind of offering. Okay, I almost missed these. We've got a Mexican themed one here. So board, kind of what they're offering. Same here for. The sides, the kids, and just next to that we've got someone called Calamari Bros. So let's see what they've got. Okay, so this is the next booth we've come across. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, no, it's very loud, but for whatever reason they want to pump the music right loud here. Kind of a nice little selection of items. This one does actually seem like it's open. I did ask at the smokehouse, they'd open to 11, so I'm feeling that's where we're going to probably find most of the booths drove into that 11 mark but saying that that is like five six minutes from now so this is the next booth and kind of selection of what they've got in their sweet and their savory this is the buffalo wild wings and i think the same menu this side yeah 
It is. This is interesting. Actually, I think it's a booth. So if it is, we're going to come back and check this out. But there's a white claw booth here. It's kind of interesting. And we've also got a little pancake like booth thing. Let's go here and we can actually look at the menu closer. Okay, so I've just come down here towards the Gold Coast, and this is the interesting thing. I thought they were actually going to be using this area in here for the food festival quite a bit, but looks like it's dead down here. Not even like the exhibition center they're using. So, that's interesting. Let's go check out the gift shop, because I feel like that's a good measuring stick we've found, to if it's even open. And I'm getting closed. Okay, it's... I don't know if they're trying to change them though, they're just using the storage. Can you guys see that too? It's like just chairs in there. Okay, let's keep moving around. There's also a photo op down here, which is literally just the cauldron from the Halloween event with like a um, food festival sign. They honestly badly attached just on the front there. It's like cut up lanyards. But I guess there is a photo op here technically. Okay, it actually looks like we've got shockwaves back up and open. Wow, I honestly did not think this thing was actually going to reopen. It's been down for that long. Okay, it's just time to walk back to the front of the park to um, get into the DreamWorks area. And I completely forgot that there is actually like a frozen cocktail little part here. Saying that this is actually included in the band, so we may actually try this to see what it's like. Okay, so it looks like this fry one is open, so let's see if we can get something from here. So, I've ordered my food, got my ticket, so I'm waiting. So all they had to do was like, they crossed it off. There's like an assigned item at each booth. So, I think it's always gonna be interesting to find out at the end, like, is it worth the money I paid for this to actually get the tasting band? Well, I'm interested to find out. So now I'm just gonna wait for my fries. And I'll touch base when we get there, okay? Okay, so just got my food. So it's honestly looks like a container of chips with cheese crumbled over the top. Maybe not flash hot, but I'm interested to try it. Maybe there's something more in there, but let me tell you what I think of it. Okay, so I got a fork in there. Oh, slide back, try to crouch down because I haven't got being a tripod at the moment. It's chips, got some of the cheese on it. Let's see what it is. It's okay. Kind of unsalted chips and some like cheese curds, but some sauce made at the bottom. But let me try a good chunk of it and I'll tell you what I think, okay? I'm about halfway through it now. I think I'm about to stop. But I noticed we got further down there's like a sauce or a gravy. So I'm guessing the style was meant to be very like poutine. I didn't actually try like proper poutine, but it's kind of gravy, cheese curds. It's what it's meant to be, so. It's okay, um, I was totally sure I was going to start ranking stuff, but let's try to do some stuff out of five for the fun of it. I'll probably give that a solid three. It's not when it's not great, but it's decent. Okay, right, I'm going to have a little bit more, then we're going to start moving around again, okay? Okay, now we've kind of finished that chip routine sort of thing. Let's head into the DreamWorks area and see if there's A, any food trucks in here, or B, what is open, closed, changed, going on sort of thing. Okay, so this whole mad jungle jam ball pit ball fighting area is now open again. So obviously it was just down for like refurbishments and I think honestly a deep cleaning as well. We also got the Madagascar store open. So let's head inside and see if there's any specials like normal. It's a random special, but we've got two for 20 on the water bottle spray fan things, whatever you want to call them. We've also got a two for 45 on the Penguin Madagascar shirt, which I have to assume are these. But it's not my style, but I can respect someone maybe we wanted to rock that matching sort of outfit. And we've also got the series of different specials on like the um, Shrek merchandise, the Kung Fu Panda stuff down here that we always kind of have in this store. So, just starting to leave the DreamWorks area now and start making my way towards Tiger Island just down there. But there was no food booths in here. I suspected that worry wasn't going to be. Besides that, um, everything's kind of up and running. 
a lot more children expect for school holidays. But what you expect kind of this sort of time of year. I just noticed as we're going past that the little tiger statues have got chef's hats on for the festival. It's cute. Actually, I have to admit, whoever's idea was to kind of start dressing these tiger statues up for the different events, I absolutely love because it's such a cute little thing to do and it brings so much more whimsical fun into the park. But let's start going to the Tiger Island and see what we can see around there. Okay, I couldn't see any of the tigers up here in like this top viewing area. So I think let's get through the store, maybe suck up some they see in there, and then make our way on to Tiger Island and see if they're out there, okay? Okay, unless I'm just missing them, I don't think they're currently out. It's kind of a real hot day, not that humid, but it is quite hot. Oh, hang on, I can see one just on the bottom, there's like the scratching post. Here, let's get a closer look. Okay, there it is. It's the only one I can see. Kind of sitting in the shadows and I said it was just next to what this like scratching post. I'm not sure what else you'd call it, but seems a little tired and just relaxed. So I think let's just keep heading around. We'll see what else we can see. Maybe find some more food truck things. So I make my way out of Tiger Island now, and it just dawned on me with everything we've been seeing, and it's been a bit since we've last been out here. I wonder if the trains can be up and running. It could be a real cool kind of way to surf and navigate the park again. But let's find out when we get down here into the ABC Kids area, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm actually going to move quickly through like this ABC Kids area because honestly, it's dead. It's not looking the best at the moment. There's no food trucks in here, and it's actually not even that busy for school holidays. So let's head forward, and we'll go into the Native Australian Animals area and see if they're using the shearing shed or anything up there. And we'll keep going, okay? To answer that question, can we get on the train? Nope, it's still down. We've been seeing them do track work, so hopefully it's back up soon, but no, it's currently down and we can still see the pathway ahead is a little overgrown, but honestly, I don't think that would have stopped the train moving. Let's go check on the shearing shed. We're just kind of going past the shearing shed now and no, there's no sign of any life there. It's not something obviously they're using at the moment for the school holidays, but that said, it's an interesting space, a bit like the exhibition space they've got. They use it for things throughout the year, just, it never feels like they use it, I don't know, maybe they're just not busy enough to use it at the other times, but it's just peculiar sometimes. Seems like all the kangaroos are kind of just chilling and like they're resting over, like behind the, this mm -hmm. log thing. So now they're also around, so let's turn and we'll keep moving, okay? Like I was showing you, there's no one else around, but I think let's go check out like that Avery area, like we normally do, and just see if we can get any further into it. Oh, but the gift shop is open, so let's duck our head into the gift shop, see if anything's changed in there. Yes, the gift shop's open, it's still just as barren as it almost always is. Like I said, it's mostly just a shed to take the photos with the koala. But, yeah, very interesting. Let's go quickly check out how much it costs for the photos of the koala. It kind of breaks down prices, what you get with them and all. So apparently it starts at this size and then you can go to the large size. So, pretty reasonable size I can imagine. And then that's kind of what they look like afterwards. Let's go just next door into like this Avery area and see if we can get any further into it than we have been the last couple of trips out here. Okay, so this is still not open, but even more so we've got a kind of thing that seems a little bit more permanent than just a planter that we had here before. That's annoying. I look forward to being able to get back up into the see the bats and all that sort of stuff that's up there. But for the moment, let's quickly check out the tree kangaroo and it looks like we can get down this path to those birds, so we'll go check them out as well. Can't see the tree kangaroo, so I'm guessing it's not out or they're not out. I'm not totally sure if there is one or two. I think there may be two of them here. Either way, let's go check out those birds. So yeah, like I said, this pathway is now open. So let's go down and check out these little birds here because it's been so long since we've ever seen these guys. Ooh. Nice cool big one just over here. So on the ground. I'm not sure if they're meant. No, I guess it's Avery, so it's really no other way for animals to get in there if they're not meant to be in there. It's kind of cool. A little sunny back here, but very like quiet and peaceful. Guessing these are just the trays for the different foods that they eat. 
So it looks like we've got some form of like fruit salad, maybe some like crushed up meal. And then honestly, that last one over there, to me at least, looks like Caesar salad. Maybe I'm wrong, but I said that just looks like cross parmesan and maybe even some croutons in there too. But let's keep moving, okay? So I'm a bit further around now, but just thought it was worth pointing out that these big guys out here are a lot more visible today than we normally kind of see them. I'm not sure you guys can see, but there is a koala in there. And over here, we've got a few of the other animals, but honestly, it's quite a warm day. So most of them are just like chilling in the shade or around somewhere to drink. So then I'm going to start making my way out of this native strand animals area. So I'm almost at the end of it. And most of the animals just don't seem like they're in the mood to play today. We actually have got a big snake in here though. We're close to the glass than normal. And the last of the animals in this area, the dingo. Just kind of, like I said, chilling in the shade next to its bed. Okay, so they finally opened up this pathway. And it's kind of just like a resting area. We've got like a little well. So like a wood carved art piece here. So we've got an eagle on the top. Looks like a wombat. Yeah, I saw some other animals right at the back. Okay, not yet. Wow, the back of that eagle looks amazing. So many details. Okay, we also got like, I think another sort of possum or sugar glider or something like that. And it's tailed down the bottom. And then MR or MB, I think MR must be the artist for this. Kind of a nice little thing. Each of the chair looks like they're dedicated. There's four of them. I'm not sure who the people are. So just going out to see if anything more is being done with like this land back here. Haven't seen anything else throughout the park, but thought I'd just kind of show you guys just what's left of like the flume right around here. Pathways, bridges, stuff like that. But let's get to the top and check out what else is going on with this land. I can't see anything, so if they are doing anything with this, it's not happening anytime fast. So I think let's try to get back to the front of the park and use up some more of our like little food ticks and stuff. Back to the top of the park. I'm hoping as it's about 11.40 now that more of the food places are open. So let's start going around and see if we can try out some of them. Okay, so I think the first booth we're going to hit, now we're back, is going to be this frozen cocktails one. See what it's like. Okay, so just got my drink thing. Haven't tried it yet. So there's four flavours. i got to pick what I want. This one was Calbee and Crunch. Crush? Something like that. So I'll let you guys know what I think. Okay, so I got my stuff at the smokehouse, like I planned to. Looks like it's a little burger sort of thing. So we've got barbecue sauce, the bread, some brisket and sweet um, onion. For that bit, I was just sipping on this cocktail thing, froze one. Honestly, oh, it's really nice. It's very tropical fruit flavors. Well, I thought it was going to be with the whole Caribbean crush. But let me try the food and I'll tell you what I think. Okay, so please ignore the screaming from the tractors near me. But there's kind of cross section of it. Honestly, it's not too bad. Bread's probably a little bit too much. But the actual brisket inside and the onions all taste pretty decent. I've had a lot worse in Australia. But let me finish this and then we'll find out what we're going to do next. Wow, that scream is getting annoying. Okay, so I found the next place I was going to get something to eat at. And it's just over here. It's goiza. Whatever. It's a spinach and feta goiza. It doesn't honestly look too well melted. But it was also like a hot box sort of thing. So let's try this out, see how it is, and then we'll go from there, okay? Still got attractions around, so can't help that. But let's try this. Okay. 100 It could be a lot more cooked. It's still somewhat warm, so no complaints there, but it's still kind of nice. I'm still getting like that little crunchy from the um the wrap. 
the um, spinach is probably a little crunchier than it needs to be, but I won't touch about. Let me finish this and then we'll find out where we're going to next, okay? Finish my food. Got my last drink, which is another one of the cocktail things. Because I was trying to see if I can really get like a good value out of this band, and I think this is one of the priciest drinks that they offer. So let's start trying to find something else to eat. Okay, so the next thing I'm trying out is the uh, dumplings. And I can get a five pack, so I've got a pork and prawn, a pork and chive, a different pork and chive, I think, a chicken and chive, and a wagyu beef. So, let me try these out and see how they are. So I've finished those dumplings. I'm just gonna come into like this food court area here to see if there's anything in here that's part of the deal. But I have to admit, I want us to get very full. I'm starting to really not want to eat more. But let's see if we can find is there anything else? Because we've got one little thingy left to tick off. So let's see what we got. Okay, so I've got my last item. It's Kenny's famous fried chicken. It comes with garlic aioli. It's kind of just a large chicken piece. I'm not sure if it's got bones, but we're about to find that out. And let me dig in. Okay, so final reviews on the chicken. It was honestly greasy, not overly nice. It was fine, but I've honestly had better fried chicken, like KFC has better fried chicken than that. But overall, it's fine. We've tried our five food items and our two drink items. So I think we've definitely got a good sample of the things that this food festival has to offer. It's not as big as I thought it could be, but it's also not as small as I was expecting it to be. But overall, I think we've had a good time. I think I'm going to have to start moving now because, like I said, it's quite a hot day and I'm just not feeling it anymore. If you guys have liked what you've seen, if you guys have liked what you've seen, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Get notified next time I upload. Also, bottom screen, like always, are my socials, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.